Baldi's going on vacation, and he's taking you with him. Welcome to the night shift on Baldi's cruise. That's right, Baldi owns a cruise. He's not just a school teacher. Okay, he does more than that. As a teacher, you know, you don't you don't get paid much, so you kind of have to like do some work on the side, whether that's running cruise line, whatever it may be. But today, we're gonna see how bad his cruise really is. Why is the industry going down? <laughs> 16 years ago, 2002. Okay, so this is actually a new game. This ain't some old thing I found. You just exited the old school here with Baldy and friends, and after Baldy killed Eric Thing, the, who killed Baldy and his friends in 1999, a performer ritual to bring him back and his friends back to life, which you took part of. After you left here school, and after saying goodbye to Baldy and friends, with all seven notebooks in the car, you went to the building where the Paranormal Investigation Association team was working with all seven notebooks in ten. Then, they congratulated you for making it through, and they gave you a paycheck for your good job, and not only your night car job, and collecting seven notebooks thing at the old here school. Why is it old here school? But also your investigation about the murders of the old here school as well, huh? And because you signed up to be a teacher at the new here school, one day prior to the seventh chip, you left the PI Paranormal Investigation Associate team a few days later, but not before they said for real, and you promised there you would return. To work for them today, as you left, the final words that your phone guy said on your final notebook mission echoed in your head. I thought this was going to go fast, but uh, I think I control the narrative here. Shift one. What <laughs> just happened? <laughs> I don't know what all that was about. Apparently, this is a sequel to Baldi. Okay. <sighs> Cameras 16 and 30 don't work for some reason during the night. We'll fix this issue on the once the maiden voyage concludes. Regardless, I hope you do well on your first night all right 16 through 30 so apparently i collected seven notebooks i was promoted to security guard nothing out of the ordinary as you can this is official baldy art like legitimately official at the top there Greg, hello again there's not only me as your guy but you as the guard where the guard anyway thanks Got for it. taking up the assignment Assigned up for the night position on the ball yet to see, aka the ship we're all on right now. Uh huh. The reason that us employees at the Paranormal Investigation Association team gave you that assignment was because that we wanted to go on the ship's main voyage to see if there are any ghosts on the ship and investigate the many ghost hauntings on it. Speaking of that, when we got on the ship today, we asked Captain Baldy if any ghosts taught the ship. And finally, he said that there is ghosts on the ship. Six of the fact. Six ghosts on the ship? <laughs> that there were multiple reports of ghost hauntings on a previous ship, and he had to call some ghost guys to take care of them. Then, when we asked him if he minds if we investigate the ghost hauntings on the ship, he said he didn't mind. So, here we are. Anyway, I presume you're in the office right now, checking it out and checking the cameras and the monitor on your desk. Right? I hope you are. Oh, and speaking of the cameras, there's 30 of them on this ship. But there's 30 cameras! To Baldi, the last 15 cams are disabled at night for some reason. Not sure why that happened. Map it disabled, and I'm huh? Also, not sure why the balance during areas of the ship aren't on your camera map. But those things shouldn't be a problem, right? Yeah. Now, anyway, while on the topic of that, how your job as a nightcap will work on the ship will be very different compared to your school back when you worked there in 2002. Since you don't have a tape player, you Did I work at the school in 1999? Spray your soda button and a cut wire button at all to defend yourself. But luckily, we brought our equipment on the ship with us, one of which is a ghost detector. So Ooh. We any ghosts, what their names are, how their human self died, who killed them, and how you should deal with them. Now, that's real. <laughs> on to who is coming for you on this night. According to the ghost detector, it says that only one ghost will come for you on this night. And his name is The Test. No, really. That really is his name. The Test. He has empty eyes and a mouth that always stays open. Gotcha, buddy. Is unknown and who killed him is also unknown. And this is how to deal with him. Ready for this? He will only get you if he either sees you moving in the office or if you're looking at him on the window. When he does show up at your office, 
you will open the door and you will hear the door opening. If you do hear that noise, look at the office, stand still, and do not move until you hear him close the door. If you hear him close the door, that means he will leave you alone for now and you can resume with your night as usual. But don't look at the camera displays as you are on your right, okay? Wait, 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 wait. But on the camera, there's also a maintenance. Wait, 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 wait. And wait, 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 time, either wait, the event or your cam will break. So that means if okay. the events break and you hear them turning off, go into the camera, click the word, which is I got that. I got that. To reboot it. And the vents will be back on. And if you see the cameras blacked out, wait, wait, wait. the word camera error, click the word, which again is in the maintenance tab, cameras to reboot it, and the cam will be back on. Yeah, this is a lot of stuff to take in, but just remember, you signed up to take the night car position after all. Anyway, that's about it for tonight, so be sure to set the camera time time. Remember to look at the office, stand still, and to not move until the test was the door on your right if you hear a wall bane it, and reboot either the vents or cameras if you ever break down. And also, be sure to click the data for us of what goes down during your shift. And you can share your day with us at breakfast, which, according to the shift schedule, is at 8 a.m. every day. So, anyway, that's it for reels this time. So, good luck on your first night. I'll see you at 8. Good night. Okay, you're done. It's 3 a.m. I'm already halfway done. My shift. He said, he literally said, there's only one person right now. And in order to survive that one person, we literally do nothing. We literally do nothing. We just stand here. We can get through the first night not doing anything. I mean, technically, he wants us to fix ventilations and cameras, but we don't have to do that, right? Because we don't have to do anything. There's only one entity who opens the door. When the door, when you hear the door open, you do nothing. <laughs> so I'm just going to sit here. Oh, yeah, I could take a shift one anytime on Baldi's cruise. It's kind of funny how there's ghosts. Why is he having a cruise with ghosts? Do they only come out at night? Do they only haunt the security guard? What about everybody else? I'm going to assume I have to do nothing, right? According to what you told me, sir, on the phone for three hours straight, you could have just said, hey, look it. There's a guy in there with you. He wants to kill you. Just don't move. Do you, do you hear? Do you hear what I'm hearing? Do you, do you, do you, do you hear what I'm hearing? Dude, someone is. That was the door opening? That was the door opening? I could barely even hear that. So you're going to have to have me listen to that the whole time? I just want to see what he looks like. You know, I'm just chilling in my. Oh, that's him. Okay, we saw him. We saw him. We're good. We're good. Now we're just going to wait. We're going to wait until 6 a.m. Until the night shift is over. Okay, it should be five more seconds. I'm glad it counts the minutes. I don't want to hear this guy breathe anymore. Too easy. Give me that paycheck. Huh? 6.09. 6 a.m. <laughs> I can do that every night, okay? No more ghosts. That's the only ghost I want to deal with. You might have known that the Eric thing murdered two students and two faculty members in 1999. But you never knew how he became a murderer. The Eric thing? Is that what we just saw? It all started on a sunny day at here school. Why is it called here school? In 1999, <laughs> Eric thing stayed after math class to rent at Mr. Baldy about him. Rant at Mr. Baldy about him getting an F minus. I've had enough. Eric thing. Hello? Look, I tried everything I can to improve your math, but in your case, you don't do your homework and not study for these tests and you play video games instead. But if you think you're going to pass this class and graduate without me knowing, that's a mistake. But Mr. Baldy, no buts, Eric. Don't even think about making excuses to get out of trouble. I'm done. I'm contacting your parents about this. Oh no, don't contact the parents. But I want to play video games. Math ain't gonna help me in the future. Video games are gonna help me. <laughs> That's me.
<laughs> then Palsy did call Eric's parents. I just got off the phone with your parents and they said that you're grounded until you improve your grades and there will be no video games for you during that time. This will teach you a lesson not to fail math again. Also, I'm going to contact the principal about this. No. I've had enough, you psycho. What will do to you will make you regret calling my parents face my rap <laughs> what are you saying you gotta go to english class too what i will do to you now well, i gotta go to readings class obviously <laughs> uh then eric thing beats baldy up and he was sent to the principal's office afterwards, courtesy of Baldy. Then, after meeting with the principal, his fate was decided. He is going to serve detention every day after lunch for the rest of the school year. After he got home from school with his angry parents told him that his video games and Nintendo 64 are now gone, at least until his grades in math and every other subject improves. Then, they will tell him to go to his room, which he did. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Shift. Two. All right, here we go. Shift number two. How is it going to be? Do we get another phone call? Maybe it's just as easy. There's a flashlight in your office now. Along with that, there's batteries in it. So don't waste your flashlight power. I don't even need to use it because I just got to sit still and do nothing, hopefully. So we can only use our flashlight while looking at this window. So I assume there's going to be somebody in the window. Judge by the data you left for us. So, uh, yeah, you'd be easy. How was breakfast with us this morning? Did breakfast is good. Eggs, yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. Can you so stop talking. Not a good time to ask you all that. <laughs> Tell me about the other ghost. By the way, you probably know that the dining area where breakfast was served is on level five, which, along with level six, isn't on the cameras at night. But, okay. anyway, before I get into who you'll be doing with tonight, Captain Baldy told me to say, Two things to you that I forgot to tell you last night. First huh. thing is the reason why no one besides the ghosts are not in the camp. It's because the ship has a curfew that goes on from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Curfew no because there's ghosts. Out the rooms until then. And the second thing is that there's also a day shift guard hired to watch the building from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. to make sure no one gets or something like that. It's kind of like the same thing you're doing right now, but during the day. Now, anyway, on to what you can expect tonight. We detected another ghost on the ghost. Everybody made to sleep, man. And oh, another ghost. The ghost is named Haldemar. That's a weird name. Well, if you're wondering who he is, Haldemar? Baldy, we asked him who he was. Haldemar? Said that Haldemar was his Haldemar? cousin. Haldemar? Baldi's cousin? And how he was murdered is a bit shocking. Hold him more? He was murdered at Cheer School on the same day that Baldi, Principal of the Thing, Playtime, and If the Bully were murdered. He oh. was coming over to the Cheer School for a visit. I don't need a history uh, lesson. Just tell me how to survive. Hold him more? <laughs> is he going to hold me to death? Him, he was murdered by being stabbed in his right eye, which is... Oh, yeah, so gross. He was stabbed in the right eye. <laughs> Who is this guy? He was murdered, which, of course, you were there to witness. He has stopped coming, and it came. Now, enough backstory. I will tell you what he looks like. He looks uh -huh. like Baldy, but he has a blue shirt on. A blue shirt. That's about it, really. Blue shirt. Oh my god, that's why they're cousins. I presume Captain Baldy left a flashlight in the office, right? Because it's your only way out to bang yourself for him. When he does show up at the office, he will tap on the window on your left, indicating that he's there. And if you ever hear that, look at the window and shine your light at him to blind him and he will go away. But even when Cass is in the office, shine your light on Caldy more quick, then look back at the office, stand still, and don't move until he leaves. But don't use your flashlight too much, otherwise the batteries in it will drain. Because flashlights don't last forever. Is he going to talk till 3 a.m. again? Also, the errors in the vents and cameras will be more and more frequent as the weeks proceed. So, 
make sure to reboot them whenever they break down. Anyway, that's all for tonight. Yeah. Do what you did with the task last night. Look at the office. Stand still. Don't look at the cameras. Awesome. Don't move until you hear them close door on your right. Awesome. Trying to like call you more. Great. If you hear them tapping the window on your left. Check your cameras from time to time. Reboot the vents. A cam and maintenance task. Dude. If ever break Dude, down. can I hang up on you? Don't Actually, I can. <laughs> and again, be sure to collect data for us. I'm not going to die during the night. Okay? So I'll see you at 8 again. Good luck. At yeah. 8, my shift ends at 6. Why do I have to wait another 2 hours on my shift? I want to go home. I know I'm on a boat right now, but I just want to do my shift and get home. <laughs> I don't know how that's even possible. Okay, we got more breathing. So basically, if we somehow see somebody here, which is Holdemore, Baldemore's cousin, <laughs> Voldemort's cousin as well. <laughs> uh, if we do that, we just shine the light on him. Is that him? Is that him? I hear knocking. I hear I hear things. What? What could possibly be happening? My heart be beating. Did I die? Now, you forgot to reboot the vents. Better luck next. <laughs> okay, forgot to reboot the vents. So we're definitely gonna have to check the cameras for the ventilations. Uh, I don't know what noise Holdymore makes yet. <laughs> Uh, I know it tells me on the top of my screen if somebody opens the door on my right So we're just gonna have to watch out for that. I'm just gonna do vent. There's no like Ventilations are about to go down. Here's your meter. It's just it goes down. So how do I Can you stop breathing in my ear? How do I know? When it's going down? How do I know when holding more is coming? I feel like I have a zombie outside my door. Is there a zombie outside my- There's- There definitely ain't a hold of more. Ventilations are good. Everything's great. So we do- I don't know, man. Woo! Okay, how do I know if he's come? Oh, don't move. How do I know if he's come? Oh, am I supposed to check the cameras or something? Do the cameras tell me if Holdy Moore's coming? Oh, that's kind of that's kind of unique. Okay, so we gotta check the camera to know if Mr. Holdymore's here. Camera error, great, awesome, awesome, awesome. Or we could just check behind us. That's an option. Dude, who's breathing? I don't know who's breathing. Is that walking? I don't. There has to be an audio cue, right? Okay, door open. We get the flash. I think that's fine. If we see a flash at the top of the screen, you literally just go to the middle one, put your mouse in the center, or look at the look at the mother. We're all safe. We're all good. We're gonna survive. But I don't know about the holy more. He's holding. Oh! Hello, holy more. I think you're gonna be trying to kill me soon. Yep, yep. Oh, there's all there's a very faint knock. Ah, uh, it was like da da da. But that sounds like the, the the door, right? No. Okay. So we hear and listen for a faint knock or a cracking open up the door or try not to die to ventilation. Okay. Okay. We really haven't had to worry about ventilation. Although there's somebody, I can't tell who's breathing in my ear, whether it's Eric, whatever, or Holdy. Holdy more. He was definitely trying to holdy me. Oh, don't move. So there we go. 15 seconds. We just got rid of holdy more. We just got rid of door guy. We're just going to refresh our ventilation, refresh our cameras here. Now we can sit back, relax, and enjoy the final six seconds because there's no way anything's going to kill me. I'm not even going to look. I didn't even look. <laughs> Those were the most confident eight seconds of my life. Oh, I get it. 609. Get it. Get it. Get it. 609. And <laughs> he, he get it. You get it. You get it. 609. Six, <laughs> get it. <laughs> get us to our mini game. The next day, Eric Thing went to school with his pocket knife hidden in his backpack. And then he went until lunch to do this kill Baldy. And when lunch came, he made his move and walked over to Baldy. Shift three.
So Eric killed, tried to kill Baldy. Eric's the ghost. So Baldy killed Eric. Three days into the maiden voyage and you are doing good with your night guard job. Now keep what you're doing. I wish you luck. Captain Baldy. All right. So we made it to shift number three pretty easily. Uh, we just had to learn a little bit about not suffocating in the ventilation. But no problem. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments. And we will be back for shift three, four, and maybe even five in the next episode. So stay tuned. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. Leaks 4 out. Let's